Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So a few weeks ago I showed you how I used electrolysis to clean an old engine block that I had. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the same process to clean a rusty gas tank. I'm going to be cleaning the gas tank on my trike here, which has gotten pretty rusty from sitting outside for a few months. Um, so enjoy the video. Okay, so this engine spent some time sitting outside and I had it covered, but you can see water still got in the gas tank somehow and there's a good bit of rust in there. So I'm going to use the same process that I used to clean that engine block and use electrolysis to try to clean that out. So I'm going to take it off and get it all set up. Okay, so out here I have my battery charger that, that will be supplying the current. Typically when you're doing electrolysis, you use a plastic bucket with water mixed with this Arm & Hammer washing soda. This makes it into an electrolyte solution to actually conduct the current. And you'll hook up the negative cable to the part you want to clean and the positive cable to a separate piece of metal that's just put in the bucket as well as a sacrificial piece. And the current goes between those and cleans the part that's attached to the negative cable. With a gas tank, the actual container is what you want to clean. So you hook up the negative cable to your gas tank and the positive cable to another piece of steel that you put inside, but you have to make sure it's not touching the gas tank or it'll short circuit it. So for that I have this set up here. I just found this, this kind of plastic fitting here that goes inside the top of the gas tank there and then this piece of threaded rod with some PVC around it that fits right in on there. And so I know that that's not going to be touching the gas tank. So I'll hook the negative up to here, positive to here, and put my electrolyte solution in there and let it sit for a few hours. Okay, as you can see, I have it set up here. I'm going to set the battery charger to 2 amps at 12 volts. So, current is going through that right now. Normally, you would look to see for bubbles forming, um, but I can't really see in there. Although, you can on the edge there. I do see some little bubbles coming up through there, and that's a good sign. As far as how much of that washing soda you should add, um, you can look on the internet and people tell you all kinds of different numbers. But as long as you see the bubbles forming, you know the current's flowing and it should be working. So I'm going to check back on this in a few hours and see what progress we made. Alright, so this has been sitting in there for several hours now. I have the charger turned off, so I'm going to take these leads off. And if we look at this, this anode here, you can see all the rust that's stuck to that. All this rust used to be on the inside of the gas tank. And it was attracted to this positively charged piece of steel. And that means that all the other rust that was on the inside of the gas tank should be loosened up now. Um, so I'm going to take this, dump it out, and see what it looks like inside and see how much more work has to be done. All right, well, I don't know if you can actually see in there at all, but before I started this, there was a lot of orange and a lot of rust at the bottom of this tank, and now it's just bare metal. There's not a speck of orange in there. And that was literally just letting it sit for a few hours. Um, don't have to do anything to it. You can just let it sit there and do its thing, and then come back and dump this out. The most toxic stuff in here is literally just soap water and rust, so you can just dump this out on the ground. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a hazard at all. So what I'm going to do now is probably wash this out a little bit more. It's also a good idea to probably wash this out with gasoline as well after you do the water just to make sure you flush all that water out. But then I can put this back on my trike and get rolling.
Alright, well this was just another short video to show you guys a simple solution to a pretty difficult problem. Um, especially on small engines like this, a lot of people would probably just junk the engine if they found out the gas tank was rusty. But if you have a battery charger like that and get some of that washing soda for just a few bucks, you can clean that out very easily. And it hardly takes any work at all. You can just set that up and let it sit for a few hours while you're doing something else and then come back to it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.